undemocratic politics in the 21st century. In this session, we are going to discuss this topic that what type of undemocratic politics in the 21st century is going on and what type of implications these trends will have on the future politics. Because after the fall of Berlin Wall and the democratization and the modernization in Central Europe, the study of undemocratic regime is just like reviving the old study again. Aaj, agar hum baat kare, ke Berlin Wall ke khatme se pehle, ya in the modern process of democratization, jo Europe mein hua, aur Europe ke un parts mein hua, jis Central Europe uh, jo, ke jo countries hain, to kahi aisa to nahi lagta ke hum phir se purane zamane ki baatein kar rahi hain. But we all know that the debate regarding the practicing of more democratized political culture, it is much related and relevant even in the 21st century. Because uh, what are the undemocratic policies and practices by the state? We uh, traditionally, they were divided as the totalitarian and the authoritarian style of governance. But nowadays, there are various, there are basically three types of classification, like number one, the authoritarian fascist debates, where, when the state asserts its monopoly over power and imposes exclusively one ideology on the basis of which it attempts to total mobilization of the population through a single party and a various organizations controlled by the same. Agar ek party hai, aur wohi party ki hakumat hai, aur wo overall pure structure ko dominate kar rahi hai, to yaha par is tarah ke nizam ko the totalitarian fascist regime ke saath relate kiya jayega. Then, uh, if the ideology that is uh, uh, remained the same, but the, on the basis of that ideology, there are the process of radical transformation of society and then definitely the calling for the, the extermination of all people. Agar us ideology ko sab follow nahi kar rahe, to wahan logon ko buniyadi hakuk nahi honge aur jo centrally controlled state bureaucracy hai, wo actually policy making bhi karegi aur policy implementation bhi. To aise nizam ke but uh, if the party is mainly controlled by the state and then there is the force uh, participation, logon ko usi party ke saath khud ko link bhi karna hai, to zahir hai ke aise moshre ke andar, aise nizam ke andar, wo uh, nizam jo hai, wo democracy se bohat zyada dur hota hai, lekin still aise examples jo hai, wo hume nazar aati hai. Then the authoritarian style of government where the political systems with limited, not responsible uh, political uh, pluralism without elaborate and guiding ideology. Authoritarian hizamu ke andar ideology to nahi hogi, but with distinctive mentalities and without extensive, not intensive political mobilization. Political mobilization bhi nahi hogi. Yani logo ki participation ko bother nahi kiya jayega, balke nizam khud hi impose karega mukhtalif ki tarah ki policies ko. Phir ek aur jo nizam jis ki baare mein baat hoti hai, that a category of undemocratic regimes that fits neither the totalitarian nor the authoritarian mold is, uh, that is normally uh, many political sociologists, they divide this a kind of a system that the extreme form of party monalism uh, in which autocracy is solely based on personal ruler rulership exercised without restraints iske andar ruler ki apni marzi hai wo nizam ko kaise chalana chahta hai uski priorities kya hain lekin nizam ke andar aam taur par logon ke liye awaaz nahi hoti so, in the modern world, in the 21st century, what is happening in the world? There are many models where 
نظام یا ایک پارٹی کے ہاتھ میں ہے یا ایک شخص کے ہاتھ میں ہے یا سرٹن ایک گروپ کے ہاتھ میں ہے جس کے اندر لوگوں کی آواز لوگوں کی ریپرزنٹیشن نہیں ہے اور عام طور پر ایسے نظاموں میں ان کی جو پریکٹسز ہیں وہ ڈیموکریٹک پریکٹسز نہیں ہوتی تو یہ ٹوینٹی فسٹ سینچری کے اندر بھی ایسے مسائل جو ہیں وہ ہمیں دنیا میں نظر آ رہے ہیں